Hello and welcome to your first tutorial on PHP CURL. In this tutorial, we will be covering exactly what is PHP CURL, the basic structure of a PHP CURL session, what it is used for, and how it is used in the real world. Okay, so what exactly is CURL? Well, CURL is a command line tool. It is a command line tool used for communicating remotely to external servers. Uh, we can send data to an external server using this tool. We can fetch files from an external server using this tool. We can also do a number of other things. We can upload it, upload files via FTP. We can send mail. We can log into external accounts using this command line command line tool as well. Okay, but fortunately for us, we're going to be using the PHP CURL extension where we will be able to write scripts that would do all those things the um, command line tool can do. Now, for demonstration purposes, let's go over to the browser. So let's say we wanted to fetch a file on an external server. What could we do to do so? Well, we could type that the path, the URL to that file in our browser and fetch it. So we're going to just go over to downdrops.com. And there is a folder on the side test data.php. So we wanted to fetch um, the file data.php. So we simply typed it in manually into our browser and we got the file with some data written in it. But what if we wanted to do this automatically? Well, then we can use PHP CURL to fetch that file as well. So what does the basic structure of a PHP CURL session looks like? Well, first of all, we initialize the CURL session. So we initialize session, then we set options on the session, then we execute the session. Okay, then we close the session. Okay, so the first step is to initialize the CURL session. So we initialize it by creating a CURL handler. We say that say that handler is equal to the function CURL CURL INIT. Okay, so that's initializing the CURL session. Okay. Then this is the heart. The next step is the heart and soul of any CURL, CURL session that is setting options on that session. So we wanted to fetch this file from an external server. So let's copy the URL. So the option we're going to set is CURL set OPT. We're going to pass the handler as the first argument. Um, the second argument will be the option we want to set. So the option we want to set is C URL OPT URL. Okay. And the value is going to be the URL of the file we wanted to fetch, which is www.downdrops.com slash test slash data.php. Okay. So that's the first option we're going to set. Now, um, we like I said, we set options based on what we want to do. So we only want to fetch this file so that's the only option we're going to set for now and then we're going to execute the the session so we're going to say CURL execute and we're going to pass the handler then we're going to close the session so we're going to say CURL close and we're going to pass the handler as well Okay, so this is the basic structure of any um, PHP CURL session. This is how it's going to look. Okay, so first of all, we're going to initialize the session. Then we're going to set the option, which is the, the option we set is CURL OPT URL. And the URL we want to fetch is this URL right here. Then we're going to execute it and close the session. So let's go over to our browser. Let's close this and once we refresh the browser, it will automatically load the external page. And remember the external page had data written in it. Okay, so that's the basic structure of any um, CURL um, session. And this, this session was simply to fetch an external file. Okay, 
in other tutorials we will be covering other options that's available to us okay so thank you